very sad news. It is now clear that Queen Sylvia will not fulfill her cherished wish because of her son-in-law. Chris O'Neill's selfishness hurts deeply. Chris O'Neill, 49, is a special person. He grew up in unusual circumstances and wandered the world as a child and young man. His mother, Eva O'Neill, 89, is obsessed with a career in society and throughout her life has been desperate to get on with princely and royal houses. This extended to little Chris, who traveled around Europe to appear before various courts like a dressed-up little circus monkey. Of course, a cosmopolitan and emotionally insecure childhood became a characteristic of the American and made him something of an oddball. Chris O'Neill is kind-hearted, but he is also a loner who always ends up looking out for his own interests and needs. A statement that makes your hair stand on end. This became no less clear recently when the court unexpectedly announced that 41-year-old Princess Madeline and her family are postponing their move home to Sweden for more than a year. The reason is not because of the migration issue or the sale of the house or anything like that. There was simply too little time for the family with all that moving entails, said the outgoing head of the court's information department Margarita Torgren, 59. The statement drew reactions and amazement from many. Just a sneeze, of course. There is probably not a single Swede who believes the information manager's explanation. If Princess Madeline is holding something back, it's about time, and her husband doesn't seem to be working himself to death either, if you say so. A ridiculous explanation that really illustrates that Torgren is not fit for his position, says the retired court reporter and adds. Not that the royals aren't resourceful and can call for help. Plus they have a whole court of qualified people who can do everything for them, and the FCO can help them with any paperwork and stuff. Princess Madeline did have a problem with her visa to the US, and that's where the FCO stepped in the real reason, which Torgren didn't dare reveal, is something else entirely. Chris is the one who doesn't want to move home. He insisted on his own and doesn't want to live in Sweden, for example, experienced forensic scientist Johan T. Lindvall, 51, told the editor-in-chief of the daily newspaper Svensk Damdedning. The betrayal hurts a lot. Now Svensk Damdedning reports that Sylvia has been very hurt by Chris's decision, which has affected her. A big betrayal of the Queen, they write and tell how disappointed Sylvia is. The Queen, who will turn 80 in December, was happy to finally see her grandchildren much more often when Princess Madeline was supposed to settle down near her parents. That won't happen now because of Chris's betrayal.